Going over the make noise strega. I'm going to split this into two sections, the oscillator section and the time filter section. So starting off first uh, with the activation circuit here, kind of like a VCA. Brings the oscillator in and out. And then next door we have the tones knob, which uh, affects timbre. So bring in the activation. And then we'll give this a turn. And then both have attenuverters, um, which is super handy. And above activation, we have activation interference. And what that does, it is takes a lot of the feedback stuff going on with the time filter area and incorporates some uncertainty into the activation circuit. So I'll bring activation in. And then let's add some of the interference. Like I said, this stuff affects this circuit as well as some others. So even with this stuff completely dry, blend all the way down, you can tell that it has an effect. So something to experiment around with. Above we have modulation interference. So uh, similar stuff will be affecting this and um, this affects the frequency. So bring this in. frequency knob and the fine tune here we have a couple of jacks for taking external sounds and boosting them up to modular levels so you could throw in an aux cord or um, whatever you use play something through it and then this is going to boost it up to modular levels so you can then take that signal output it here use it for your other gear or using this knob, feed it through Strega and you can um, play along with this oscillator here or just use the time filter for effects, which a lot of people enjoy. All right, let's go over some of these jacks. Uh, one volt per octave for sequencing. And the attenuverter inputs. And we have these two CV outputs. So this CV output is an envelope follower for whatever you have coming in here. Um, this LED will light up to uh, reflect the envelope. And then this CV out um, is some of that feedback I was talking about. So stuff going on over here is sort of combined together in some sort of way to come out of here. Um, I love this output. It's random me, but it's also controlled and related. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Here is an input for that uh, modulation interference. So if you don't want the feedback stuff affecting that, you can use that right there. And then we have these two outputs. So these two are the what makes up the main voice, the oscillator of uh, Strega. So we have the subharmonics, which sounds super poppy and clicky, but great for percussion. And then we have this sort of soft triangle, which is uh, really nice for layering. Moving on to the time filter section. Up here we have a knob for time modulation. This is normal to the subharmonics, and I'm gonna go ahead and patch the subharmonics in here to hear those external sounds, or whatever you wanna patch in here, run through the strega, so patch in there. Bring up the knob. And while the frequency is this high, those clicky pops get to audio rate, so it sounds kinda of subby, which is cool. Um, but lower, you really get those nice sparse pops. And I'll go ahead and layer the oscillator over so you can hear. I think an interesting theme of Strega is speed following frequency. Um, like as the frequency gets higher, the speed of those pops increase. That happens at other places too. All right, so the subharmonics normaled to time modulation. 
Let's get that going. I'm gonna bring in the activation. And we'll need to turn up blend in order to hear the stuff going on on this section. So let's bring that up. I'm gonna increase frequency, make it a little easier to hear. All right, let's get some time modulation going. can put in whatever input you'd like if you don't want the subharmonics to modulate that. Over here, like I said, the blend, which is the wet dry, but that also brings me to absorb, which is similar. It's not the typical absorb you'd get in a delay where the higher it goes, the, the more damping you get. Here, the higher the absorb, the more internal feedbacky stregay goodness you get. So let's um, bring this in. Bring absorb in. So you really get that warmth, you can hear it coming through. And this is super related to all of the other controls. So jumping ahead here to time, this sort of changes the room size at higher settings, but gets nice and crunchy and um, awesome and washy as it goes lower, so. Super fun. But let's crank Absorb up and hear um, how gnarly it can get. Super nice. Um, we have decay, decay time of that delay. Decay, heavily related to filter position. Then we have an input here for uh, modulating time with the attenuverter. We have another unattenuated input for time. So, yep, three inputs for modulating time, which is awesome. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, this is AC coupled, by the way, these two DC. So a little bit different. The AC more for following the audio, uh, DC for more following the control voltage, as I understand it. Attenuverter for decay. And then um, you got your input to control absorb. So moving on here, uh, the filter section. So this is a function, which is just a rise and fall. Here you can change the shape to get a sharper attack, uh, more in the middle or um, sharper decay. Um, here you can change the speed and this is normaled to the filter. So it's gonna open up the filter and let's hear that. So here changing the shape of the function. And this is for the speed. And this can go into audio, right? Which is awesome. All right, 
right, so we have an input here for triggering the function. So it self cycles, but by putting in a gate here at gate high, this will start its rise and it will not start its fall until gate low. Kind of an interesting control. This is for CV control over the function speed. And this is an output for taking this function to other places. So if you want to control tones, for instance, and change the timbre according to the way that this function is going, you can do that. It'll still be normal to the filter, though. Here, the filter input, which, again, um, the function is normal to. You can input your own CV if you would like to control the filter. This LED represents the function. This one represents the filter. And they're related right now, but if you use your own voltage, this will uh, represent that. And then we have our level control for the level of the output, line level headphones, and your modular level signal for sending out to your other gear. We have the main filter knob. Oh, and then a CV input for control over uh, the wet and dry signal, the blend there. And then lastly are all the touch plates. Uh, the main thing to know about the touch plates is that there's a lot of the internal feedback from the time filter affecting it. So depending on knob positions, things will change. And um, just touch circles to squares. Um, one circle to one square, a bunch of circles to one square. You can do multiple things at once. Here are a couple of examples. A nice one to set up for the touching. I'm going to bring in some activation. Perfect for the fingers over here. And I'll add in another circle. And then again as you change other settings. Speed fall and pitch again. So cool. And that about does it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll answer them all. And uh, I'm going to attach a link to a little cheat sheet that I made um, with all of the inputs and controls. Um, that's really easy to follow. Thanks for watching.